Hello everyone, Mimikins here. Today I'm going to show you some of my builds I used to defeat Arch-Tempered Lunastra. I've got a ranged light bowgun and a close-up melee longsword build, so you can pick whichever playstyle you prefer. I personally find a Stera Jerky, which you can buy from the Provisions NPC, incredibly useful in this fight. It instantly heals the red portion of the HP. So if you didn't manage to run away in time from Supernova, you can use two of these, one after each wave to survive. Max potions also work as well as Ancient. So if you bring all three, you can go through four Supernovas without having to restock, as you will need two items to fully survive each one. If you've been keeping on top of fishing or the Argosy consumables, you might have some great sushi scales. These heal you up quickly like a max potion and work with wide range. I wish Capcom would make some sort of fishery so you could cultivate these like I do with my other supplies. The Argosy sometimes brings them back, but it's kind of rare. Let's start with my light bowgun. I've chosen to go with a rapid fire ice build, which I love because it has a good range to keep me out of harm's way. This build has a good balance between survivability and damage. It has 100% affinity without the augment, so you can augment attack or health region. If you've already augmented affinity, you've got a free slot. This build has good fire resist sitting at 26 without additional canteen buffs. This with my increased health boost helps cover up for any mistakes, ensuring that you're not a one-shot. I've chosen speed eating as my utility skill to make sure my health is topped off fast. It's also great for quickly consuming buff items before you engage in a fight. Other good options are recovery up, which increases all healing by 30%, and mushroom mancer, if you can reach level 3, as mandragoras will give you a max potion effect, although it does not work with wide range. One thing to note for Lunastra is that you can't use elemental shots through the blue flames, but I was able to shoot her wings with slicing ammo, which is the weak spot for slicing. I find this helpful for groups that are adamant to fight her amongst the blue flames. Otherwise, aim for her head or through her tail to optimize freeze ammo. My melee build, I've got a Divine Slasher build and an Empress Sword Sticks one. I've augmented with Health Region, which helps keep HP up. I've got three parts of Kashala set for nullifying wind pressure. I feel it's particularly useful for melee so you don't get knocked back into flames and can heal yourself quickly. It's also great for avoiding quenches from her breath attacks. Divine Slasher does a bit more damage but without protective polish, two rotations and its sharpness has dropped. Styx is a bit more carefree with huge white sharpness and has more flexibility with the slots. I've chosen Recovery Up as my utility skill since I like having increased heals on my hits from the health region augment, as well as my potions. Other good skills are again Speed Eating and Mushroom Mancer level 3. Mushroom Mancer jewels are rare to 8 so pretty hard to come by so I expect most people won't have any. Heat Guard can be useful in the fight, although not needed. Combine this with a cold drink allows you to not take damage from the blue flames which can be fine for solo, but for group play it's best to move Lunastra out of the flames, since it will affect others' DPS and their survival. Defeating Arch-Tempered Lunastra rewards you with Sakura armor, for those times you want a Street Fighter feel to your hunts. And of course, the Gamma armor. I can see parts of this being useful in support builds, some new pieces for earplug fans, an agitator, that's a pretty rare jewel to come by, so it's nice it's on armour. I'm a gear hoarder, so I'll be making it all, just in case. I really like the hat. This means the wiggler head is no longer needed for wide range builds, but maybe they'll add it in as a layered armour. I hope so, because it's so cute. Hope you guys found the video helpful. Please support the channel by liking and subscribing, and I'll see you next time.